It's game over for Tesla and other major EV manufacturers as Toyota just revealed their completely new cutting-edge battery type that'll allow Toyota's EVs to dominate the entire EV industry. What is this new battery and what are the numerous benefits of using it? Join us and get ready for a tectonic change in the EV industry as Toyota's insane new battery admits no competition. Let's face it, Toyota has been way too late to the EV industry. Their first EV, the Toyota BZ4X, was revealed only last year and was hardly revolutionary. Cool yes, but you'd be hard-pressed to see EV enthusiasts thriving to own one, especially next to the Mustang Mach-E and the Tesla Model Y. Honestly we were puzzled by Toyota's decision not to enter the EV segment for such an extensive period as we all know how popular Toyotas are. The BZ4X, while interesting, was also a confusing choice as we personally think that Toyota's halo car for the EV segment should have been much more affordable. But what do you think? Did Toyota make a mistake with the BZ4X? Or do you think it was a good choice for a first-timer? Hey, if you're enjoying this so far, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Be sure to let us know in the comments section below. Anyhow, Toyota's new CEO, Toyota's CEO Akio Toyota, decided to step down from his position a couple of months ago as he believed he wasn't too old to revolutionize Toyota as a brand. While we're sad that the man responsible for the majority of Toyota's success in the past two decades is leaving, we're thrilled to announce that his replacement, Koji Sato, decided to completely refresh the brand. Sato announced that the company will focus on developing EVs apart from regular cars and hybrids. Koji Sato, who is the president of Toyota's Lexus brand, is responsible for some of the biggest hits that the brand had, the most notable of which is by far the famed Lexus LFA. More recently he was also responsible for Lexus's own EV, the Lexus RZ, which offers an incredibly revolutionary steer-by-wire system that was never seen before on vehicles. He recently announced that Toyota's vehicles of the future will have numerous unseen features and changes that will make them completely stand out from the crowd, and most of them will allow Toyota to eliminate the penalties their late entry into the EV segment brought them. These changes include a significant reduction of aerodynamic drag and a complete change of production methods, allowing the company to fully and flawlessly transition into the era of electric vehicles. However, by far, the most notable and most revolutionary change will be the aforementioned new battery type that will allow Toyota's models to offer much higher levels of performance while also being even more practical for daily use. What is this new battery actually? Well, that's the catch. Toyota announced that they developed two different battery types. The first one, which will see widespread adoption imminently, is an evolution of the currently utilized lithium nickel, cobalt manganese, NCM batteries. They will offer a larger range and considerably lower production costs. These batteries were originally a direct replacement for the lithium iron phosphate, LFP battery chemistry, which had numerous flaws and issues including lower range and charging times. We are glad to hear that Toyota will continue the development of NCM batteries. However, you'd be delighted to hear that Toyota has another ace up its sleeve, and that ace is actually the creme de la creme of Toyota's battery technology. We're talking about the most advanced battery type currently on the market, solid-state batteries. So let's talk about the differences between lithium-ion, lithium-polymer, and solid-state batteries. Solid-state batteries use solid electrodes and electrolytes compared to the liquid or polymer gel electrolytes found in lithium-ion and lithium-polymer batteries. This allows solid-state batteries to be considerably smaller than their lithium-ion counterparts. Materials proposed for use as solid electrolytes in solid-state batteries include ceramics and solid polymers. Until now, solid-state batteries have been considered inefficient and not suited for use in regular vehicles, as there was virtually no way to effectively charge these batteries. But with Toyota's continuous efforts, the charging capabilities of solid-state batteries have improved significantly, and we're about to start seeing them in EVs in the very near future. Toyota projects that most of its EV fleet will be equipped with solid-state batteries by 2026 or 2027, which is fantastic. However, we still need to address the question behind Toyota's insistence on developing this battery type. So the question remains, what are the benefits of using solid-state batteries? Oh, and speaking of charging times, Toyota also announced that they will significantly lower them. The current charging time for the BZ4X to reach full capacity is only 30 minutes however, both generations of the solid-state batteries will take up to three times less time to charge to their full capacities. 
This essentially means that to charge a BZ4X for 300 miles, you'd need less than 3 minutes, isn't that something? However, as impressive as all this sounds, there are a couple of caveats that need to be addressed. First of all, Toyota has already made claims that were equally as bold as this one, and they have yet to deliver on some of them. In fact, did you know that Toyota already announced its solid-state battery? And they haven't done it just once either. They have been teasing us for the past decade with them. Look it up. There are numerous headlines that announce the appearance of solid-state batteries, some of which are 10 years old. Toyota wasn't even making EVs, and their electrified vehicles weren't even using lithium-ion batteries in large quantities, as the company was still heavily reliant on the obsolete nickel-metal hydride batteries back then. This raises the question, why did Toyota hesitate for so long? Was it due to technological limitations, internal disagreements, or a strategic decision to wait until the market was more mature? These are all possibilities and while we may never get a full answer, one thing remains certain. Toyota's reluctance to fully commit to EVs in the past has left them playing catch-up today. Akio messed up big time, there's no denying it. His tenure as CEO saw incredible success for Toyota's traditional vehicle lineup, but his hesitation to fully embrace EVs put the company at a disadvantage in an industry that is rapidly shifting toward electrification. While competitors like Tesla, Rivian, and even legacy automakers like Ford and GM were aggressively investing in EV technology, Toyota seemed stuck in the past, still clinging to hybrids and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles as their primary alternative fuel strategy. While hybrids have been a major success for Toyota, there's no question that fully electric vehicles are the future, and Akio's reluctance to embrace this shift has left Toyota scrambling to catch up. However, despite all the broken promises, false stories, and hardships that the development of Toyota EVs endured, we still believe that the brand will actually deliver on its promises concerning the solid-state battery, mainly thanks to the constant efforts of Koji Sato, who, unlike his predecessor, is actually willing to electrify the brand. Koji has made it clear that Toyota will no longer sit on the sidelines of the EV revolution. His vision for the company is one of innovation pushing Toyota to develop cutting-edge electric vehicles that will not only compete with the best in the industry, but surpass them. His leadership signals a major shift in Toyota's philosophy, one that finally embraces EVs as the future of mobility. He announced that the company will shift their R&D teams to develop and perfect EVs instead of regular vehicles, an incredibly bold move that shows just how serious Toyota is about making up for lost time. In fact, all of this is backed up by his statement that Toyota is already developing several brand new EVs, the most notable of which will be Toyota's first fully electric sports car. This is an exciting development, as Toyota has a rich history of producing legendary performance vehicles, from the Supra to the Lexus LFA. Um, so yeah, even though they're still somewhat hesitant, we believe that Toyota won't lie to us this time and we're actually hyped to see the solid-state battery finally enter production. The implications of this technology are enormous. Solid-state batteries promise to deliver faster charging times, greater energy density, and improved safety compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. If Toyota can mass-produce these batteries efficiently, it could give them a significant advantage over their competitors. Imagine an EV that can charge in just a few minutes and travel hundreds of miles on a single charge. That's the kind of leap forward that could make EVs even more practical and appealing to a wider audience. Oh, and I'm also hyped to announce a new confirmed feature that Toyota is developing for their upcoming electric vehicles that'll interest car enthusiasts who were shunning EVs. And that, of course, is the manual transmission. Yep, you heard us right. You'll be able to shift gears in your EV. This is a groundbreaking development because one of the biggest criticisms of electric cars from driving enthusiasts is the lack of engagement due to the absence of a traditional transmission. EVs are known for their instant torque and smooth acceleration, but for many gearheads the experience of rowing through gears and having full control over the power delivery is an essential part of the driving experience. Toyota's move to bring a simulated manual transmission to EVs is a brilliant way to bridge the gap between traditional car lovers and the future of electric mobility. If they can implement this feature in a way that feels natural and engaging, it could make their EVs far more appealing to driving enthusiasts who have been hesitant to embrace electrification. This could also signal the beginning of a new era, 
where EVs are not only seen as efficient and sustainable but also as genuinely fun to drive. The coming years will be crucial for Toyota as they work to transition into an EV-focused brand. With the leadership of Koji Sato, the development of solid-state batteries, and the introduction of features like a manual transmission for EVs, Toyota has the potential to shake up the industry in a way that few other companies can. However, they need to deliver on their promises. The world is watching, and the competition is fiercer than ever. If Toyota can execute their vision and bring these innovations to market, they could very well become the dominant force in the EV industry. But if they fail, they risk falling even further behind their rivals. Either way, the next few years are going to be incredibly exciting for the automotive world, and we can't wait to see what Toyota has in store. If you're as excited as we are, be sure to stay tuned for more updates on Toyota's EV revolution. And if you'd like to learn more details about their upcoming electric vehicles and features, be sure to check out this video.